Hi everyone. Is it okay for an officer to stop and frisk you? This is Christina Williams with Just Criminal Law. And this is David Mann, legal storytelling specialist. Well, that is that's a phrase uh, that I've heard before, stop and frisk, and you see this of course in movies and TV. So, it's a common story, but I guess we all kind of wonder how does that work and yeah, are they able to do that? Well, as you might uh, suspect, it depends. So, if an officer has reason, that is, somebody has, say, reported a crime and they've given a description of a person that committed the crime and said, you know, say for example, a gentleman with a red pullover a hoodie just pulled a gun on my brother, they got into an argument, and then he ran down Fifth Street going south, and the officer sees you in a red hoodie headed south on Fifth Street, is he allowed to walk up to you and ask you to stop? Yes. And is he then allowed to pat you down? Under these circumstances, yes. But it's not always appropriate. Okay, so it's, it's if I'm getting this straight, if he believes there is a reason that you have something on you that he would have to feel with his hands, then he has a reason to feel for that thing. But I know that, you know, there are situations where it's not nearly that clear cut and they're doing it where they're not supposed to. So what is that like? Sure. In our last example, the officer had reason to believe that you were armed and dangerous. So they're allowed to frisk you for officer safety, that is, to make sure that, um, you know, if he's going to talk to you, you're not going to grab a gun and point it at him. But if we have a less clear situation, say, you know, a couple days ago, there were some storage units that were broken into in the town you live in, and you happen to be headed home, you're walking home from work, say at 10 o'clock at night, and an officer just walks up to you and says, hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Now, keep in mind, you're always free to let him ask you questions, you know, just see what he wants to, to visit with you about, but you never have to answer any questions. And, you know, in this particular set of circumstances, I would say it's very thin reason. There's a very thin reason there for the officer to stop and ask you about, potentially ask you about these storage units that have been broken into. So say he does do that um, and he, he says, you know, I just need to pat you down and you're carrying a vape pen in your front pocket. And, um, you know, he asks you several more questions, but he realizes you were not at all involved in the storage unit break-ins. However, he cites you or gives you a ticket for possession of marijuana. So is that going to stand up in court? Well, that's definitely a gray area and something worth fighting. Okay, so that's the type of thing that we like to talk about in these videos where having a lawyer is really, really critical because that's a there's a there's a window there where it's subjective. Did he have reason? Did he not have reason? A citizen on their own usually can't sort that out, um, certainly not successfully in court. So they need to call you, I imagine, and now might good, be a good time to tell them how to do that. Sure. We'll include a link in the description where they can call, text, or chat with a member of my team anytime, day or night. Here at Just Criminal Law, we know you only get one shot at justice, so make yours count.